Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, I'll walk you through the latest working solution to fix the can't install e sign issue on iPhone and iPad running iOS 17 and iOS 18. If you've been struggling with e sign installation errors, I've got a step by step guide that will fix it in no time. Whether you're stuck with app integrity could not be verified or installation blocked errors, this method works for both iOS 17 and the latest iOS 18. Let's start the process. First of all, open this website and then hit on top, DNS. Please note that don't skip the step till the end of the video. Now hit on the Rice DNS v1. Now it will open new page. Simply hit on the download link and then hit allow to download the profile. Now open your settings and then hit on the downloaded profile and then hit install to install the downloaded profile in your iOS device. Now open the same website again and then hit on sign or downloads then scroll down and then you will see eSign links. Simply hit one of the any link to install eSign app in your iOS device. But here is the problem. Many users struggling to download and install eSign in their iOS device or sometimes they stuck with app integrity could not be verified or installation blocked errors. So today, I will show you another method to install eSign app in your iOS device without any error. Now as you can see, on my iPhone, I am also not able to install eSign app from all the available links. So let's try this method. First you need to download eSign IPA file. I will put the download link in the description. Once you have the eSign IPA downloaded, now simply open the same website again and then hit on the signer downloads and this time you need to try to hit one of the feather links, if one don't work you can try other link. After hitting the link, then simply hit open and then hit install to install Feather Signer app in your iOS device. In my case, first link did not let Feather app to install, but the link with China continent name have no problems to install Feather Signer app in my iPhone. Once you have Feather app installed in your iOS device, now simply open Settings, then open General, then open VPN and Device Management. Then open Enterprise app and hit Trust. If you are on iOS 18, you have to allow and restart your device. But before that, you must turn on Airplane mode and then hit Allow and Restart to let Feather app work in your iOS device. After restarting your iOS device, you will see the Feather app will start working properly, but we are not finished yet. Now open the same website again, then hit on Signer Downloads, then scroll down, and then download the same name certificate that the link you downloaded and install the Feather app. Dance to our 
Once your certificate is downloaded, now open your downloads and then hit on the downloaded certificate and hit on uncompress. Then you will have a new folder with three files, one of them a password in it. Simply copy the password of your certificate. Now open the Feather Signer app and then hit on the settings, then hit on add certificate. Then hit on add certificate again, and then hit on import provision file, and then hit on import P12 certificate. Then select the mobile provision file and P12 certificate from the download certificate new folder. Then paste your certificate password, and then hit save to save the setting. Now with Feather you can install any IPA file you want to install in your iOS device, but some users still can't install their IPA files via Feather as well. Let me show you first how to install IPA file via Feather. Simply hit import and then select the IPA file you want to install in your iOS device. Once the IPA file imported successfully, then hit on your imported IPA file, and then hit sign. Then hit start signing. Once the IPA file signs successfully, now hit on your signed IPA file, and then hit install. Then hit install again to install your IPA file in your iOS device. Now after that, if your IPA file installed and worked without any problem, then you are good to use Feather. But if you get error like mine and can't install IPA file, then there is method I used that worked for me and it will work for you guys as well. It's too late now. I so now if you can't install IPA via Feather Signer app, then now first hit import again in Feather Signer app and then select the eSign IPA file we have downloaded earlier in this video. After eSign import successfully, now hit on eSign IPA file and hit sign and then hit start signing. Once eSign signs successfully, now hit on signed eSign IPA and then hit install and then hit install again to install eSign in your iOS device. Now you will see eSign will install without any error. Now open eSign app and then hit on three dots on top and then hit import and then select the both file, the mobile provision file and then P12 certificate file from the downloaded certificate folder. Now first hit on P12 certificate file and hit import certificate management, then put the certificate password, and then hit OK. Now hit on mobile provision file and then hit on import. Now we will use eSign app to install our IPA file in our iOS device, but this time I will use different way to install the IPA file via eSign. Now first hit on three dots on top and then hit on import and then select your IPA file you want to install in your iOS device and then hit import. Once the IPA file imported successfully, now hit on apps and then hit on IPA file you imported and then hit on signature and then signature again. Once it signed successfully, 
Now don't hit install, go back, and then hit on settings in eSign app. Then hit on Wi-Fi, and then hit on LAN address, and then hit on the link, and then it will be copied. Now simply open Safari in your iOS device. Then simply paste the address and hit go. Now hit on signed apps, and then hit on your IPA file, and then hit install, then hit open, and then hit install to install your IPA file in your iOS device. And this time you will see that your IPA file will install and work properly without any problems. And there you have it. You've now successfully fixed the can't install eSign issue on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17 and iOS 18. If this method worked for you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more iOS fixes and tips. If you still have any questions or run into issues, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.